<laughs> the big talking point has been the Tasmanian yes. team, and there's some some bun fighting. There's some tension down there in the Apple Apple Isle. They got so, a bit grumpy about the whole process. What's happened there? Well, they've said we want in, and the AFL have said, in a nutshell, we'll think about it. We'll take twelve months to decide whether we think you are financially viable. Because right. the last, remember, we did this. Uh, however many, 10 years ago when the AFL did that whole expansion plan, Andrew Demetrio came up with Gold Coast and GWS. Now, clearly as part of that, they did the financial modelling on all of it and they thought that the Tasmanian team wasn't financially viable. But the, the difference now is that the Tasmanian government, who already uh, tip in heaps to Hawthorne and North Melbourne, said, well, we'll financially underwrite it, which means they will get they will provide all the money should should they need. They will, they will guarantee it will be... Uh, paid for, right? Which is a big commitment for at least the next 10 years. Now, the key question... It's fair to say, though, Hobart yep. has come a long way in 10 years. Hobart yeah. is now quite a little destination boutique spot, isn't it, Rosie? Oh, yeah. There's some great it, restaurants. And Mona. And Mona uh, and cafes. Close to Bruni Island. There's a lot to, Hobart is becoming much more appealing than it probably was 10 or 15 years ago when Andrew Demetrio was in charge. Well, this is the question, right? Will okay. players Will players want to live and stay in Tasmania, to live in Hobart. Because if you're going to recruit a Nat Fife, a Dustin Martin, a Patrick Cripps, a Cripps, and you're going to need that star power in your footy team, does the player go, mm, should I play for the Hobart team? We have to bring my whole family down to Hobart. Do I want to live in Hobart for the next six years? Because if they can't recruit your Jack Rewalt or whoever, then the whole thing sinks. So my question to both mm. of you, as an AFL player, would you want to play your career out of Hobart? I think you could. I honestly do. I mean, no, that, you're, that's, that's a tentative answer. No, it's not because it's you, no that different. Is, that Hang suggests on. that you wouldn't. But it's you also, say, oh, yeah, no, but it's also as a kid, I wouldn't necessarily want to go play on the Gold Coast. It's a non-footy state. That it's hard to be sort of get into a, a real footy. If you're a footy head, I've never had a bad time in Gold Coast. What are you talking no, about? No, no, <laughs> See, that's the thing. I knew, but that's what you, you, you went that same argument last time about. Oh, well, there's a good nightlife in Gold Coast, and you can go out and go to the beach. But we're talking about being a professional footballer. I guarantee you, Matt Rowe, if the go if Hobart had a team, Matt yeah. Rowe would absolutely love to go down and play for Hobart. I think you would. I mean, it's and we're sort of being a little bit facetious, but it's like going to Geelong. I mean, why would you want to go and live? In Geelong, for some people that might not want to live out of the city, I going to live Geelong in South, Australia, place. going to live in South Australia, going to live at, at Greater Western Sydney on the west side of Sydney, going to live on the Gold Coast wouldn't suit some people. I, I, I honestly, genuinely think if you love your footy, the 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 footy state of Hobart, they would get around you. It's as we said, it's becoming a real hip little um, spot. Mm -hmm. I think you could. It would be hard. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy, and you're not going to lose players to wanting to come and play in Victoria, which is the case with any interstate team. But I think it could work. Okay. I do. Honestly do. Emma, Charlie says, oh, we've got to move down to Hobart for my work. And what's your oh. initial reaction? I think my initial reaction would, would be I'm not thrilled about it. And that's nothing against Tassie or Hobart, but I think the weather would really get me down. Mm. I think um, for a startup team, you know, joining the league, the likes of GWS and the Gold Coast are different because – you know, even though it's Greater Western Sydney, you're still in the biggest city in Australia in Sydney, right? There's so much going on. And you can choose to live wherever you want. Um, and on the Gold Coast, there's the unique climate. And, you know, as you said, it's you know got your beaches and stuff. Whereas Hobart, you're pretty isolated from the rest of the country and you're not getting outside unless you're training, I reckon. You are so, focusing on that. But in Hobart, you'd have a fanatical fan base. So this is the problem with team, the yeah. players playing for GWS and Gold Coast. What they're lacking is this real connection with the footy club and a really strong fan base. I think you'd get that in Hobart. Yes, you probably of course, would. it's not, you know, you're not living in Sydney or living in Victoria, but... I potentially think it, it could work. 